Good morning guys, welcome back to another week in my life vlog. I'm assuming this is gonna be a long one because a lot is happening this week. So today is Monday, I'm doing my big long like wellness routine this morning and I've got a lot of stuff to do, okay? I leave for New York tomorrow. I'm in New York for pretty much 24 hours. I'm recording four episodes. I'm not really gonna see anyone, I'm just in and out for work. The sunrise is really weird this morning. Like it's only 6.56 and like the sky, well it's, the sky is actually darker than that, but then it's, it's pretty. Anyways, Thursday I come back for a very short period of time. Um, we have to shoot the sets for spring and then we have a pop up for the Okina Lilas, which is kind of a pain because we're sold out of a lot of stuff besides the scarves. We are sold out of puff bags, but guys stay tuned. And if y'all want us to restock black, we will. Friday. I go to Austin because I need to record um, some episodes. Those are more solo. At this point, y'all know that I'm moving. I'm very, very, very excited. As of right now, I closed two weeks from today and I'm moving that week. I have so much to do. So when I come back is when I'm gonna pack, but I'm only home for a couple days. And then I go to Nashville. So I'm really only home for like five or, five or six days total with work stuff until I move. So I have like most of my house decluttered. I was doing much of that stuff this weekend. It just happened very quickly. Normally you have a 30 day close and yeah, I could wait, but like I would rather just not. Like if I have the house, I want to move and then that way we can rent the townhouse. I'm very excited. It's going to be a good week. I'm about to meet Macy. I'm looking forward to like when I wake up, not being in the middle of everyone and having space and just being in a more like, it's not like it's crazy nature. Like I'm still in the city. I'm only 15 minutes away, but where I'm moving feels very different. Like I was driving through there yesterday. It's a lot cozier and it still is so close to everything. Uh, but one thing about me, I just need trees. Like I need to wake up and feel calm and zen and cozy and like I'm at home. And I have loved where I've lived so much, like on really just so much. I'll be very sad to leave. I was worried that I was gonna like sob leaving the townhouse, but honestly, I just love this new house so much that I'll be fine. And also I'm not selling it. So I feel like, you know, if I, let's say I hated it. I was like, I really do want to be again, back in the middle where all my friends are, even though I'm only going to be 14 minutes away. I'm so dramatic. I can move back. I can wait until the loosens up. You know what I mean? Like whatever. I'm just, so excited. This week is big. I'm stressed. I had some anxiety yesterday. My nephew was born last week, so I was with him last night. And I left at dinner and I was like, I have to just get home because I'm so anxious. I think I was getting the Sunday scaries or something, guys. Like, oh, I also finished a new book this weekend. Never Lie by Frida McFadden, the same girl who wrote the book that we read, The House Made for Book Club. Please go read my book. If you guys read that book, I need y'all's feedback on KE Book Club because like I liked the book until I figured it out and I was like, so we've been lied to this entire book. Like it was just weird. I still liked it, but like, I just feel like the narrator can't lie to you. Like that has to be a rule. Like no lying from the narrator, not into it. Also, I'm wearing this really cute Outdoor Voices set. These seamless sets, I've been wearing them non-stop i got one and then i got three more colors i'll show you guys a better view later and they're they're just the best sets ever they're under a hundred dollars they're very well priced they're at your voices they're so so cute guys macy was late because she was taking oh, pictures well, of the sky okay, oh okay wait we need to do our off of the day here well it's crazy because i was telling the vlog how the sky was so weird this morning wait, hold on. we gotta like set it up for off of the oh. day because mine's like big <laughs> Guys, I've been trying to film this outfit in the day for TikTok for about an hour and a half. And Macy has this going all over Knox Henderson. It's all been, over. It's been everywhere along our path. <laughs> no, because we couldn't do the cars. No, we couldn't. It was too dark. So now we have this, this white background. Your TikTok. <laughs> no, I'm just saying Macy's a better influencer than me. No, we have to go over here in the white background. Oh. oh. <laughs> Guys, Macy is a new woman today. Yeah, but we'll tell you why in TikTok. Oh yeah, sorry. It's the set active set, guys. Everyone congratulate Macy in the comments for being a set active girly. Ooh, cute. I had those on this morning. Macy, so how are you feeling? Like first morning in your new set active set? Oh, <sighs> okay guys, Um, I just want to say, let me get in my position. Okay, sorry, I had to like get down my thoughts. Everyone's like, oh, if you want to become a morning person, like lay out your workout set the night before, lies. 
lay out your set active workout set the night before. It doesn't have to be set active, it can be any, but to be fair, I was really just wearing like Amazon sets and it was good for the time being, but now that I have a set active set, well I actually have two. It has been mm. like, it has- What other color do you have? Brown. Oh! I'm, I'm just a little stressed for when, after tomorrow, when I've worn both of them. Like obviously I, I can wash them, them, but like, and I will, but I need more. I'm glad you're teaching And like, you're gonna Kenzie, Kenzie always works out in the morning. I'm like, well, yeah, now I know why. You have good workout sets. Yeah. So that really is the key. Like, the thing about like quality workout sets too, like better quality, is like when you work out so much, you know? But when you're like washing them so often, you're going through them, yes. you know, and then you'll I'll have like a rotation of like ten that I go towards the yeah. most, and then and the quality will like go down when you work. Mm, can I talk when you wash the cheap ones? Yeah. They're good for the they serve their purpose, but now that I have like a nice one, it really is the trick. And I just think that I'm a good person to talk to about this because I've actually become a morning person in the past. Like, yeah, you really have. That, I used to be like, oh, I wish I could be one of those people that worked out before work, and now I do it, and just having a workout set has made it so much better, and it would have made the process easier, so. Yeah. If you guys want to hear my journey to becoming a morning person, let me know. Wake up at a certain time every day for like three weeks, and then reward yourself for- yeah. With um, a set active. Yeah, with a set And I just want to say, it's never easy. Every morning that I wake up, I'm like, damn it. But, I'm like, but then you just bully yourself. No, it's not bully. But you gaslight yourself into thinking. You're like, really? Like, you're not going to do this? It's easy. I'm no, like, sometimes I wake up and I'm like, I'm so tired. I'm like, no, you're not. No, I'm like, <laughs> literally <laughs> shut up. Yeah. But even it's tired. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's an illusion. So it's like really healthy self-talk, you know? Yeah. I ordered a perfect bar from Starbucks because I needed a snack before this workout. I know. I like probably should, but... I don't know why. I get so... I, well, it's it's walking and drinking the coffee. Oh yeah, that's what it is. I get so um, hungry after I walk. I get really hungry after weightlifting. I haven't gone grocery shopping, like really, in like two weeks. I ordered. So unlike me. I ordered a Target pickup, but let's look at what the, what's in that because I was like, oh, I have groceries. Like, I'm fine. Wait, well, just... mine is like I'm out of town and then I move, so I don't want that much stuff. I'll get food, but then I'm packing up my kitchen. Well, I thought that I was so ahead of the game for getting food, and I realized I literally only got sandwich stuff mm. and toothpaste. And yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna get my perfect bar. I feel like it's really gonna give me the energy I need. All right, y'all, I went to Roots Juicery because I had like 45 minutes in between my workout and my sauna appointment. I got a green immune booster, booster, booster juice. And then I got this bagel, which is like, it seems really sus. And then I asked someone, they said it was good. It's a salmon bagel, but it's like in this, but it says it's good until Friday. How does that make sense? And everyone said it was good and it looks fresh. It's vegan salmon, what? No one told me that part. No one told me it was vegan salmon. This is gonna be disgusting. Vegan salmon, cream cheese, sprouts, and sesame seeds. So I'm gonna try it. That's why it's good until 2.25. I didn't even realize, maybe this root is vegan. I don't know how I feel about this. Okay, it looks horrible. No, like it literally looks horrible. Why did I buy this? I don't know. It's like fine, I'm just gonna get rid of this vegan salmon. Like what? I don't even know why I got it. I was honestly distressed and I'd already asked about it. I'm just gonna eat this the bagel part. Okay. Guys, literally all that for nothing. Because I literally just sat here eating my disgusting, disgusting bagel. Like I don't even know how that happened. I was just like, you know when you go on somewhere and you ask a question and then you just feel like you have to and then yeah, it's just bad. Anyways, all that, I was just sitting out and waiting for like 45 minutes and then my sauna place just texted me to cancel five minutes before. So, love that for me. I'm gonna go home and get work done. I think I'm still hopefully gonna go to the sauna around like 1.30. I have to get my hair done at 2.30, just to blow out. Um, but today I need to prep for the episodes. I need to send some stuff in. I'm pretty much good on the house. I mean, there's a lot of like stuff I need to buy, but I actually bought, I don't know if I said this yet, I bought a new bed yesterday. I'm finally getting a king bed. I'm really growing up. It's actually, now that I think about it, like my friends always pointed out how it was like very weird that I had a queen. You can learn an adult, you get a king. But like my townhouse, I just didn't want to get a king because I didn't know how, I, I don't know. I just felt like it was gonna be too big for my bedroom, which I could have done a king, but anyways, literally none of you care. So um, I bought my outdoor furniture and I bought the, what did I buy? The bed. And then I bought another counter stool. But I still, I would like to replace my kitchen table 
in chairs absolutely um but i haven't found any that i'm like obsessed with well, i have but they're not on sale right now so i had to figure that out because that space is like a little bit bigger as well but for the most part i'm like pretty good i've got to measure some stuff you know we've got to figure it out but i've got calls today for a security system it's going to be installed before i even move in um and just getting it all together so i'm really sad that i'm not going to the sauna right now like i was like really looking forward to it anyways who cares it's not a big deal i'm like being dramatic for no reason honestly i'm just tired and i'm kind of overwhelmed but it's all gonna be good that's why i want to go to the sauna because the sauna will relax me so that's why hopefully i'm going before my blowout okay so i keep seeing ladybugs first off i feel so tired i feel like you know when your face feels tired and i'm just exhausted um it's later i went home and i episode prepped and i worked anyways i'm going to get a blowout i need to get matcha but i keep seeing ladybugs i saw it the day that i found the house and then it was just on my car and i just keep seeing them and i heard the ladybugs mean wealth isn't that true or good luck but i'm actually pretty sure it's wealth i think anyways i just you know what that makes sense because I just returned a very expensive pair of pants that I thought I was gonna love. I just returned and it does make sense because I just returned a very expensive pair of pants that didn't fit me and therefore I just made money, basically. That's how I look at returns. And I used to be the worst person ever about returns because it was like one of those, again, like this is so stupid, but you know like the really, Dom and I were just talking about this, the adult things that just suck, like going to the doctors, finding your own doctor, whatever, I looped returns in with that so i'm embarrassed to say how many things i haven't returned and i've just lost money on no more no more no more anyways i'm going to mirror i'm across the street from my blowout right now i'm getting a matcha and then i'm gonna sit and read and i'm very excited because this week there's new books frida mcfadden has a new book coming out it's like the sequel of the housemaid um and then lucy score the what do they call the series things we never got over the sequel of that comes out tomorrow so maybe i'll read that on the plane um we've got some things to do we do, and I'm tired. But we did prep the episodes, so I can do more of that tomorrow when I get to New York. But I feel good. Just stopped at Merit for some matcha. This matcha, guys, granted, it's a 16 ounce, so it's like a medium. Well, they only have a 12 and 16, so large. Um, it was $8.93 without tip. So, I'm not trying to put the cup. Also, why was this not shake? Come on, hurry up. Okay, by the way, my bread winning house life set. It's back in stock. I am not one to um, complain about price because it's more so like I chose to pay that. You know what I mean? But is that not crazy or am I just not noticing? That is crazy. Very good, by the way. The strawberry matchas that I get in Dallas. Now I get it normally. I only really get it from Merit, actually. Very good. I'm so tired. Okay. This isn't actually what I asked for, but it still looks good and it'll fall. And it was nice and relaxing. I read like 30% of my book in there. It's so good. I have scrubbed off my tanner. Anyways, I got an Instacart from Sephora today with just restocks. Glow screen, golden hour, which I'm about to put on. It's going to save my life. I needed a pillow talk with liner. I got a travel self tanner because I'm going to tan tomorrow night in New York. Tanning mitt. And then my summer Fridays. Heavenly 16 all-in-one face oil. Best face oil ever. These are all Holy Grail products of mine that I have repurchased over and over and over again. I'm gonna show y'all the magic of this sunscreen. It's 4 p.m. I've been so tired the past like week. I don't know why, um, but I really just need to film, get some more stuff done, pack, and hopefully go to bed by like 8 p.m. tonight. That's the plan. Oh, I put way too much on, so whatever. Okay, you guys see how much color this gives my face. It looks crazy right now. It won't soon. I'm probably gonna have to put on like a little bit of makeup. To just look more presentable for this video. More like we're like filming a video. It's like a movie, like a real movie, you know? Um, like a two minute makeup thing. Oh, the book I started reading, guys. Okay. I've just been go going through books so quickly again, but I found a new author. So uh, what is Frida McFadden, what I said? She's great, and I started reading this book. What is it called? The Inmate. And I'm 36% of the way through. I read like 5% last night, and then I fell asleep. And I, let's see if I can do this. I love it. Like, it's really good. I think I already know what happens. Um, but I don't even care, because I really love the book. And honestly, I'm probably going to finish it tonight. I'm literally going to bed at 8 p.m. I'm going to film, pack, go to bed. 
That's the plan. And then we're gonna wake up early, work out in the morning, and then I'm driving myself to the airport because I'm only gonna be gone for like 36 hours, so I'd rather just drive and not have to wait for an alto, because I land late, you know, that whole thing, so. It is like 6.10, I woke up 15 minutes ago, I've just been class in 20 minutes, and I'm eyes rolling my face. My face has just been getting so puffy again. Oh my God, I am so tired. I should have made a coffee. I don't even have a coffee. I haven't even grocery shopped recently because I've just been gone so much, so. No coffee for me. Like, literally the last thing I want to do right now is go to a spin class. Where there's, it's so loud. There's music. And normally that's fine. But not right now. I like last second pulled into Starbucks and I passed it being like, I'm just going to get a coffee now because there wasn't any at home. And I'm so tired. And they were out of iced coffee. So, it's like 6 a.m. How are they already out of iced coffee? Mm. <laughs> you know when you like wake up really early and you're like kind of nauseous this isn't even that early but like really early for flight for some reason i'm getting that feeling even though it's really not that early and like i i 6 30 classes actually i don't know not bother me at all oh guys by the way i finished the inmate last night so i literally read the entire book in under 24 hours it was so good Freedom McFadden is really my girl right now. I've read three of her books in the past week. Unbelievable. So many twists, so many turns. You're not gonna guess it. I guess so many things that like kind of happened and then would come true and then weren't true and then whatever. Yeah, in the very end, there's a really good twist. It was just like such a good, like I'm gonna rate it like a four, five, four, three. Only because there was a lot of like whiplash towards the end. You know, I was like, wait, who did this, what? But it really kept you on your toes. I read it so quickly because I just like couldn't put it down. Um, And it was so good. So I really recommend as always if you guys want my book recs and or like what i'm reading and stuff it's on ke book club on instagram but yeah just crazy like really good book all right y'all i just showered and i got ready i'm about to head off to the airport for some reason like i'm trying to get my hair to i don't know i just something feels weird i think it's because i'm not tan maybe that's what it is um here's my airport outfit today this coat is h m it's amazing all of my outerwear is basically h m top is aritzia i think leggings are story this fuzz is driving me insane and it like won't. Oh, it's not even fuzz now, it's chalk. Okay, whatever. Uggs, and then I have these two bags. So this is all I'm taking for this trip. And then I'm also going to Austin on Friday and it's probably all I'll take. It is so convenient. This is the Calpac Luca Duffel and it is the best bag I've ever had for travel. I have all my clothes, makeup, hair, everything that I could possibly need and, and some. In there, um, and my laptop, and then the Okine puffer, which these are currently out of stock, but if you guys wanna restock, let us know. We are working on other colors and fabrics and stuff, but if you guys want like the classic black restock, let us know, because we need to put in that order, but this is all I'm taking. It's gonna be so quick in and out. Taking you guys with, of course. Hi y'all, made it to New York, had a nice travel day, slept so much in the plane. I took actual melatonin last night because I needed to sleep and I was reading a really good book and I couldn't fall asleep. And I'm never doing that again. I like was so exhausted all day today and I should have taken my array sleep pills, but I didn't feel like going downstairs and getting them. So anyways, the array sleep pills are where it's at. I just checked into my hotel. I'm staying at the Arlo, which I really, honestly, it's fine for one person. We made the mistake of staying here for my live show when my friends from Texas came. And Lauren and I say, I just texted her a photo in this room. Lauren and I stayed in this room, which was fine for us because we were like best friends and it was fine, but like not ideal. They're crazy, crazy small, but they're very cost effective and they're in Soho. But when it's just me, it's not bad. This is just my second time staying here. I'm also honestly really low maintenance when it comes to hotels, but um, the one that I've been staying in recently, I really don't like anymore. And then I'm literally just here for tonight and then I like check out in the morning and then I go to the studio and then I leave. So I was like, I might as well just stay at the Arlo because it's so cheap. Um, I need to call Dom back. I'm gonna sit and just relax. I, guys, I do not wanna do anything tonight. I know that I'm in New York. There's a Carrie Underwood show tonight. Like I really should have, but like I'm exhausted. I have so much going on and my priority is obviously the recordings tomorrow and this is like a work trip It's not, not even like a come see your friends trip and I come to New York like every six weeks honestly, so um, I'm just gonna have a nice hotel room night read my book I started reading the light we lost sequel that came out today I'm 10% in so far so good. 
I haven't really given it much of a shot because I was just so tired. I like passed out on the plane. So I'm hopefully gonna read that tonight and then also the other Freedom McFadden book dropped yesterday. So I've got a lot of reading to do. My podcast episodes are prepped. Maddie is, lo is here, I didn't even realize it. So I texted her and I was like, I have an open slot if you wanna record a book episode, which we've been meaning to do. So my episode this week is with Maddie and Dom. This is I'm batch recording, it like doesn't really matter. Um, You guys loved the book episode. I don't talk about books so much in this vlog, I'm sorry, but y'all loved the book episode with Brooke. So I wanna make that like a series on the podcast, like I'm gonna do Emily like helps reads. Or is it help reads? It's help reads. I always say helps reads, even though it's help reads. I don't know, whatever it is. Um, Maddie, all my friends who are like podcasting, social media girlies who love to read. Are really any of them, honestly. I have a sport going on under this so I can I can strip. It's just like kind of hot in this room. Guys, I cannot stress enough how this Luca Duffel is the best thing ever. I will link it below. Like it is just amazing, especially for a quick trip, like a weekend trip or whatever. I mean I'm only wearing a pair of shoes, but whatever. Haul time, okay? I got some green juice. I got some sour cream and onion potato crisp chips. I got some fruit and I got some water. I'm gonna sit now. Oh, I have to tan tonight. I've got some things. I've got some things happening. Got some things happening. I'll talk to you guys later. Filling out house paperwork because it literally never stops. I ordered sushi for dinner and I'm gonna read. It is literally 6.26 p.m. I'm hoping to be sleeping by eight. I cannot describe how tired I am. Good morning from New York. I'm doing my skincare and going on a walk. I self tan last night and I must have had product on my face because look at how my tanner came off. So hopefully that just gets covered with makeup. Okay, so I have been like wildly anxious and I think just really overwhelmed. And I mean, it's my schedule. It's everything that's required to buying a house. Like you obviously don't just like buy the house or like write a check. There's so much paperwork to it, which I had like forgotten about. Well, I hadn't forgotten about it, but honestly, I think it's just like the combination, if you will. Um, and then, just because, and also I have PMDD, and it's like the week of my cycle, basically, that I get really anxious. I'm just like, I don't know, I was so anxious last night. I took my like calm array pills. Thank God I keep those in that Luca duffel bag, just in case I get anxious like when I'm traveling. But that helped. Um, I watched the Kelsey Ballerini call her daddy episode and I read like 30% of the new book. I forget, those are long, I think they're like 500 something pages. But also I've noticed like, I feel like maybe like two summers ago, I was going through this weird thing where I was like insecure and like caring with that thought of me, which like is like a almost like a hallmark part of my personality is that I really just don't care normally, right? So I feel like when I do, it's like so startling to me because I'm not used to it. And then I'm like, what's happening? Because it's just like, that, that's just like such a, like my personality. I don't know how to describe it. Obviously everyone cares people think to an extent, but like, I don't know. Or also maybe the feeling is just like more foreign. I, I don't know. And then it bothers me more, but I've been like, even today, Guys, this is crazy. So there's this Instagram girl that I follow that I actually really like, but here's the thing, like, and I have to also, okay. And she always posts like how it's annoying when like podcasters are like, hey, what do you want to know for my guest? And it's like, do your own job? And it's like, no apps. And I, so I like literally stopped doing that even though like the networks tell you to do that because obviously they like want y'all's input involved. It's a show for y'all to listen to. Um, but I just did it this morning because I was like, okay, I'm doing Melissa Wood, my makeup artist, and Maddie today. Oh, by the way, two of my recording, one got canceled, one of them I messed up, so that's not their fault. And then Maddie's in town, so thank God Maddie's gonna come and do it. So we're not just doing two, three is more than enough for today. Um, so we're down to three podcast episodes. It's like, it was such a quick in and out trip. It sucks that um, they canceled and stuff, but like, we'll, we'll get them back. Anyways, oh, and so I was like posting it today and I was like insecure, like this is like so stupid, like so, so stupid. But then, and I was like, this is important because what if there's like a certain product that you guys want, like a recommendation on that like I don't use or like whatever, or like input from y'all on the show or like questions like for y'all, you know what I mean? The podcast episodes have already been prepped and I've done like hours of prepping. Like I am very, very prepared when it comes to episodes. So anyways, that's just like so stupid. But then I was thinking, I'm like the people who talk about how other people are so annoying or like are so critical of other people are always like the most annoying people. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, you're, it's also just like obviously insecurity and it's just like such a turn off. And normally I'm like emotionally well enough to see that. 
But like, I don't know why I'm like valuing these people's opinions that like I don't even like know most of the time, like personally. And even if I do, I'm like, I, I really shouldn't be valuing their opinion. Like I I've seen it up close, you know what I mean? I don't know. It's just people are like so critical and negative towards everyone else. And it's like obviously out of like a jealousy thing. That's like such an unattractive quality. I actually hate that in a person um but yeah for some reason i'm like letting it get to me i don't know maybe this is just like a 24-hour thing but i've noticed it i'm like this is not okay you know doesn't make sense and it's dumb and they don't matter so good thing i'm recording with muscle wood today because i'm sure she will give me the channel out energy back anyways it is 7 45 i'm gonna go walk a little bit i only have uggs on or uggs here i'm gonna go get blue bottle I might just get a matcha because I think coffee is making me really anxious. I might get a coffee later. I do love my blue bottle matcha as well. And I'm going to listen to a podcast. Oh, actually, I downloaded it two days ago. going to listen to Melissa Wood and Gabby Bernstein. And when I come back, I'm probably going to be feeling like a million bucks because that's what happens when you listen to those two together. I'm very excited. I'm also really excited to record with Melissa. Like, that would have been worth the trip alone. That's how excited I am to record with her. We're going to do an episode on, like, navigating your 20s and routines and all that and whatnot. So, very, very pumped. Okay, we got to we gotta go. I don't go into the studio until 11.30 tonight. So, I've got, like, literally four hours right now. I've got a bit of time. I woke up and I got some work done. I also, like, I, I swear to God, I I have been filling out paperwork nonstop for, like, five days. When will it end, you know? When will it end? and I'd expect it. I feel better, okay? I don't know why I decided to turn the camera on when I'm doing my mascara because this is the worst part of my makeup routine. I am going to get breakfast. I'm recording three episodes today now, which honestly is probably for the best. You guys might be like, Kinsey, why are you coming for 24 hours and not just like doing more or like whatever? Um, I am so tired of being gone all the time and I really... I would like to be like in and out unless I'm here for like a friend's birthday or like something that like I need to see my friends like everyone people are busy like it's basically like I'm gonna see my friends in New York anyways we have plans we have a trip very soon so uh, these trips are like work and I want to be in and out that's why I was like maybe I should just start doing like 36 hour trips where I, I fly in the night for I record and I leave that night and then I can sleep in my own bed be back with the dogs not be gone as much and then I'm actually going to Austin on Friday to record a solo because now the Austin trip is kind of like unnecessary, but it's already booked because I I only have a four out of studio recordings a quarter and I was using all those today. So I was like, I'm, I it might as well just go to Austin instead of like paying for the Dallas studio. because It's like the same amount of money. Um, but I could have recorded the solo here, but I haven't even prepped it. And my Austin stuff is already booked. So I'm still going to Austin, so whatever. Also like sometimes, I mean, recording three episodes is a lot in a day, and I want to make sure they're really good episodes, so it's like fine, it's not a big deal. Anyways, listen to Melissa Wood's episode, it made me feel immensely- Oh my god. Oh my god. I hate my life. Oh god, I don't even know if I have like, Q-tips in these bags. Guys! I was gonna say it made me feel better. And now look at me. I'm watching Devin Carlson's vlog. Getting breakfast in an hour. Oh, I need to pack up my stuff. I'm gonna watch Macy's vlog too. But my outfit today is really, honestly, boring, simple. This, my coat, Uggs, uh, whatever. I need to wait for this to dry before I take it off. Oh my God, like this is not real. I shouldn't be trusted with this, guys. Oh, I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, y'all, we're heading out. I'm just making sure I have everything. I'm going to meet Cat for brunch at Citizens, which I'm so excited for. I like get to see her when I'm here normally when she's doing makeup or if she like comes to like a pop up or event or whatever. We never get to like hang out. So, gonna get brunch. I'm obviously bringing my duffel with me because I'm just gonna bring it with me to the studio. Hopefully, I'm gonna get on the flight that leaves like an hour earlier because mine's already getting delayed and I would like to get home before like 10 p.m. So, we'll see. I'm you know, I'm, I'm not a night owl. I'm really not. On weekends, I am. I will be the last one leaving. On a weeknight, no, I need to be, I need to be home. Also, again, like guys, I'm gonna be honest with you, the puff bag, even if I didn't create this bag myself, like the Okind one, um, I, I, it's just the best bag that's ever existed. It is, they're out of stock right now, we can restock, we do have other ones coming. It is just unbelievable. Like, I, I look at this sometimes and I'm like, I just cannot believe that we created this. 
It's amazing. It's stunning. Perfect. Also, we are going to be restocking tote bags probably for summer. I need to leave, but that tote bag I use all the time, especially in the summer because I bring it to like the beach or the pool or whatever and it carries everything. It's a great like weekend bag, overnight bag, like work bag. I mean like literally it's just the best tote bag ever. And those are at a lower price point than like a lot of our other items. So we just wanted to make sure that we have those restocked. So we are ordering those hopefully soon and we'll be restocking. Anyways, off we go. What a week, guys. I'm like kind of getting out of my anxious pit. Danielle and I had a very good conversation this morning about anxiety. Love her so much. Um, and I'm feeling better because I feel like I'm like not crazy, you know? And I'm feeling zen and, you know, good. Guys, look who it is. I think I forgot to vlog at breakfast. But we're about to start recording. Looking great. Hi. Hey. Look who's here. Surprise. Hello. Maddie's my also flyaway. here. Oh, your hair looks great. She came from Dry Bar. I mean, I'm literally Kenzie Elizabeth. <laughs> yeah. I just like walk in with Dry Bar, you know. <laughs> I should have gone to fucking Blue Bottle. Yeah, the Blue Bottle down the street. You missed out. Hey guys. Oh, it's really dark. We're gonna record the next episode. Hey. Guys, I have had the most insane day. So, my flight got moved up because my like last podcast recording is what got canceled and I was like, oh, I'd like to get home before 11 because I have a full day, like I have stuff to do tomorrow. So my flight was supposed to get moved up to the 5.55 p.m. one, it got moved up to the five somehow. I don't know how that got messed up. I think it was just like a, I don't know, whatever, not a big deal. I was running into that airport. I made it, my flight was boarding at 4.30 for a 5 p.m. flight. I made it to the airport at 4.35 I was, the TSA pre-check had a line and I was just carrying on this bag. So pre-check had a line. So then I'm like running and running and running and I'm gate 14, which at LaGuardia, like, okay, LaGuardia, sure it's nice now, but you have to run a little freaking marathon there. Like it's honestly so annoying. Like when you get off your flight, the last thing you want to do is walk a mile to baggage claim. Anyway, so I was doing that reverse, running, like literally running. And then I made it to my flight with one minute to spare. I went and sat down and I was just like, oh my God, I'm so out of breath. Like I was like, I don't have my aura ring on. Didn't even get the workout. And so anyways, um, kidding, obviously it was a joke, but <sighs> oh, this is what I was going to say. Guys, so I'm leaving the studio. By the way, I recorded with Melissa and it was amazing. Love that woman. Okay. I'm leaving the studio. This car is coming. They have the same license plate besides like two numbers, like something, whatever. I always check the license plate. And normally when I get in an Uber, I ask their name. I never say, is this for Kenzie? I always say, what's your name? Like, is this whatever? So I get in there and I ask this guy, cause it's the same thing and I'm in a rush. And he's like, yes. And I was like, okay. And I get in, the whole car is like crammed with stuff. So it's like, this is bizarre. And he like gives me a phone charger and we're like not moving. And I'm like, what is going on? I sat there for like two minutes and I was like, cause it's just no, I was like, I just need to get to the airport. He's like not moving and then I go, hi, what's your name? And then he was like something else. I'm like, this isn't the Uber? Like I asked, I said, is this the Uber, is it Uber for Kenzie? And he said, yes. And then I just sat in that car. Like, thank God he didn't kidnap me. It's actually really scary. And normally I don't do stuff like that. Like I'm normally really, really aware of my surroundings. It's like, even just now I was like, like I'm always like on the phone acting like someone's meeting me. Like I do all the things nonstop. And he was like nice. It wasn't like I was like, I'm going to be murdered. He wasn't even moving. I think it was just, I really don't know. I think maybe he was just startled that I opened his door because it's like some random man, but he also had an Uber sticker on. So I think maybe he just thought I said, is this an Uber? But I don't think he was like currently, he wasn't currently driving Uber and then someone else got in the car after me. So I was like, or was that your Uber? I don't know. That's actually probably what happened. I don't know what happened. Um, I wasn't even embarrassed because I was like, why? I asked you and why did you have me sit here for two minutes and not say anything? Like, it was just bizarre. So anyways, I'm in the Waterburger drive through It's 9.37. I'm back in Texas. Thank God. There's just nowhere I'd rather be than Texas. And I love New York. I actually really do. But like, the more I'm there, the less I'm like, I would want to like live here. Like, it's great to like come in, pop in, pop out. And if I didn't love my life here so much, I would definitely probably be living there. I really would need to be living. I would be living in Nashville at this point. But yeah, I don't know. Just something about it. Like I am just a Texas, Texas girly. So making it back. I do have two workouts. Well, I have a sauna and a uh, 
Pilates class tomorrow because I am unbelievably anxious and it's like have to. So I have to wake up early and edit. I was working on the flight. I'm just like getting it all together. You know, we have a shoot tomorrow afternoon. It's just like a content shoot. It's not like a huge deal. Well, it is for like ads and stuff, but for the O kind. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Oh my god. There is nothing more annoying to me than how my car, like, I'm not even far. I'm, I'm close. Like, oh. this is why I am practicing self care today because I am so, like, irritable. Yesterday, and just this week, it feels like, like, you know, when you're just having a week that you feel really irritable for, like, no reason. Mine's been, like, 10 days, okay? And I'm normally not like this. Like, it takes a lot to, like, bother me. Like, honestly, well, I grew up with eight siblings. Like, it doesn't, I don't know, I just not really like that. It's definitely hormonal, but like, I am just so annoyed. And then it's like everyone in every which direction is asking me for stuff like 24 seven or like need something for me. And I'm like, I am losing my mind. And I'm also just tired. We are practicing self care today. I woke up earlier, actually really early this morning to get a bunch of work done. I got a video up and I was just, whatever. Um, and now, I'm heading to the sauna. I'm doing the sauna. I'm doing cryo. And then I'm, oh, there's a cone in the middle of the road. And then um, I have a hot Pilates class. After that, I have to go home and get ready. We are going to shoot the Okine sets for spring. Just like a little quick, like by the pool moment. More like content. Um, oh, it's only me doing it. So, is that like 3.30 or 4? And then... I have to pack for Austin um, and to film my like I'm moving video because I don't like how it turned out earlier this week and hopefully sleep and get a bunch of other things done that just keep getting added so love that. Then I was thinking just now I'm like oh my god when's I like last week of living here? It's literally next week. So when I get back from Austin I need to start packing because I only have four days at home before I leave for national and then when I come back I uh, like close and move. Remember last night though on the plane, I think I did find um, my new dining area set up that I want. So I have to decide if I'm moving that or if I'm, I don't know. There's like a lot up in the air. I just need a nap. I just, I need a nap. But I think this like sauna cryo workout situation is gonna like really get me back on track and motivate me. Maybe I'll like do a little meditation. I'll read. I'm like 38% of the way through the things we never got over sequel. And it's just like, it's not things we never got over. Like it's, it's a spinoff of like the brother. And I don't know, like maybe I'll end up really liking it, but like, I don't, I'm, I'm just like, it's fine. Like things we never got over was just so good. If I'm talking about books too much, I'm sorry. Like, please let me know and I'll stop. I, I think I am in this vlog, so I'll, I'll be done. I'll be done. I think I might just give up on this week. I, first off, I just got out of the sauna and you guys are gonna see how crazy I look when I go into the cold punch. But anyways, I get in the sauna and I text, I'm texting a friend and I'm telling him like, I'm going into the sauna, I'm locking myself in for an hour so I don't kill someone. Because again, like it's a lot of it's hormonal, but a lot of it is just like so much stress. And I get an email that is like so crazy about this house, like so, so, so crazy. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, no. So anyways, then I had to call my dad and be like, what do I do? as I was trying to relax and it's like actually a really big deal but I think it's gonna be fine like I'm actually not that stressed about it now but it was just crazy and then I'm like starting a meditation <laughs> guys by the way I know there are bigger problems in the world but whatever but I'm like texting a friend and I'm like literally I'm like I just need to not kill someone I go to turn on a meditation and someone starts blasting Justin Bieber in the room next to me and I'm like oh my god I just can't get a break can't get a break I say as I'm literally doing a sauna and a cold plunge. Like I saw, I'm like very out of touch with my palter right now, but you know, it is what it is. Anyways, I have to look crazy. I do think it all got figured out. Basically, it's like my 2022 tax returns and there's businesses that I worked with that paid me outside my management that haven't sent me 1099s, which is crazy because you owe them January 30th or January 31st or whatever. So that's what's been like causing a lot of issues because we can't file my taxes and I made more money. Like you just need like a lot of proof. And we sent a draft email, a draft return and everything's fine. Like I'm approved, but it's like, it's now just a matter of like how high the dive and down payment is. And we were told it would be something different and don't even worry. Okay, wait, what else? I'm like forgetting things. Oh, I also have to put these on. I feel like I'm forgetting something. No, I used to wear a face mask, but. Do I look pretty? 
Thanks, guys. So later, I'm going to shoe the Ocon. I'm wearing a bikini. I got so many cute swimsuits recently from Frankie's and from With Jean. Um, I, we're going on a trip, and I just like wanted to actually love my bikinis. I feel like I always hate them, and then I'm like, everyone else has really cute ones, and I just don't. So I, well, I have one good one from Monday somewhere that I love. Um, anyways, I'm getting another coffee. I know. It's not the best. Um, I've had so much drama today. Hold on. One sec. Oh, thank you. Yes, please. Thank you. You too. I think I actually am gonna sell the townhouse. I wasn't planning on it. I was gonna lease it, but honestly, not that I, I mean, I would be a landlord. I would hire a property manager, I know, but like, I was talking to my dad about it, and like, both my parents at first really wanted me to hold on to the townhouse because I, I have like the best deal and setup, like, honestly, in like all of Dallas at this point. Like, I have a really, really good deal in the house. I was just like, I don't know, I really still want to live like below my means. I don't want to be a landlord, even with a project manager. I don't want to have to like deal with like project repairs on like another house and whatever. And like I'm 25, like I don't really want that responsibility, you know? Even though I could hire a project manager, but we were running the numbers and I was like, honestly, like I should just sell. It just doesn't make sense. So that's a whole other thing now. Um, but anyways, I got back from Pilates and Pilates and my call with my CPA, Kevin. Love that man. Um, I thought I was gonna kill someone when I was at that sauna place. Obviously, I'm kidding. I feel like I have to be so serious on the internet these days. And then I went to Pilates and I felt so much better. Well, really, I had a call with my CPA on the way there because of the like 1099 drama and it all ended up working out. So like all the drama was like literally for nothing. Go figure. Um, and everything was fine. And my taxes will be filed and we're good to go. So I was like, Kevin, I could kiss you. Like I am just so happy. So anyways, I went home. I got work done, and now I'm going to shoot the Okine. We're shooting our sets for spring. We're bringing the sets back, we're keeping them, because they're like the best like spring break like, cover up, bikini cover up, like even just like wear every day. Like they're so good for everything. So I'm doing that, and then I still have a lot of stuff that I need to do tonight. I need to send more stuff to my CPA, which I feel like is like all I do these days. And I need to pack, and I was supposed to see Lauren. I just don't think that's gonna happen. Like I need to sleep as well. Um, so anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. I cannot even describe to you guys how it's Saturday right now. Also, sorry, there's like YouTube playing upstairs. I guess it never turned off when I left. I have no idea what's on. Anyways, the Our Place pan finally came in. This is one of my Christmas gifts. Um, then we have like the silicone as well. But I have been wanting this for so long. And it, what's nice is that like I can roast the chicken with it still. I love Our Place. It's my favorite ever. I use like my pot nonstop. Everything that I use and I love in my kitchen is from Our Place. Anyways, I am so excited about this. Good morning, y'all. It is Friday morning. I think it's like 6.30. My Alto is about to be here. Use code I love you for $20 off your first two rides. But I'm about to head out to the airport. I'm gonna throw a coat on. Going to, I'm flying JSX this morning, which is like, like a fake private plane. Like it's not really private, but it's much better than a plane. And you only have to get there like 20 minutes before. And it's like the best experience ever. And it's not even that much more expensive. Sometimes the rice are like the same. It's crazy. So I just showered and I like drenched myself in lotion my skin has been so dehydrated. I am actually bringing this away bag just because I had a few more outfits I wanted to bring. My puff bag, I have my laptop in here and I lost put my headphones around my neck. Throw a coat on and I'm ready to go. Very exciting. I'm in studio, have one hour down of recording. Guys, don't you think that Robotting Housewife needs Teacups like this. I finished my coffee, which is what, my third one of the day. It's out of control. And this has been my setup. The Austin studio is, looks, it's basically the exact same as the LA one. And we're really just having a time. Y'all, not to brag, but I think I just recorded the best solo episode I've ever done. Also, my ad reads in here were great. Like, I was just in a good recording mood. My set is Fabletics. It's so cute, but like, I am going to stain it. So, I needed, I need to cover it. I'm going to get lunch. And then I have plans tonight, but just in a great mood. The studio always puts me in a good mood. This is still filming, so. We recorded for YouTube. Guys, go subscribe to the YouTube podcast channel. You guys can watch all the podcasts on YouTube. I know, it's groundbreaking. It's crazy after I literally just said that. I just like cannot get over these. Like I need, I actually, I'm, I spoiler alert, we are working on them. Just takes a long time. Can you imagine just like having this at your house instead of breadwinning house? Like, 
It's like such a dream. Made it to my hotel, got lunch after the studio, and I'm gonna take a nap. I have plans tonight, and then I'm leaving in the morning. Very quick trip. Oh my god. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this week of my life vlog. Love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys soon. Here's the thing about running into any sort of ex. And trust me, I have this down to a T because I do it do. all the time. You immediately go up to them, keep it short and sweet. Say, yeah. hi, how are you? Whatever. Nice. Leave. You're good. Make it not weird. Short and sweet. So they were like, oh, fuck. Or like, you know what I mean? Afterwards.